hello guys welcome to solving solutions on the channel where i get solutions to all the solving problems it's nice having in class again today how have you been on today's tutorial we are going to show you how to download um, some high resolution images using um, qgs so you need to download them um, a satellite imagery of an area and then you want to use it for maybe visualization or maybe extract some features from it right good so we are going to show you how to use a plugin on QGIS to, to assess it. So we want to import what the points that cover the area of interest. So you go to layer, you go to add layer, and then you select what add delimited text layer. Then when you have this window open, you click on a browse to select what the file name. Now we have navigated to what the folder where we have stored our points of interest. We have that point of interest and then we open. So now upon opening, we can come to the um, geometry definition. Then we see that um, for the sample data, we have the ID field, the Easting and the Northern, right? Good. So under the geometry definition, the X is what your Easting auto selected. The Y is what your Northern, right? Good. So, and then you also come to the coordinate CRS. Now, the coordinate CRS of our point is in what um, UTM zone 31, WGS 84 slash UTM zone 31. So, you also want to select it right good and you click on OK. If your points are in lat and long, when you click on this um, select CRS, you can do well to select what WGS 84 right good. So, if it's in any other projected system, you select the projection. And then you click on OK. So I haven't fixed all of those parameters. We click on Add, and then we close. So you now see our points that um, we are interested in, right? Good. Now to assess the plugin from which we want to download those images, we come to Plugin, Manage and Install Plugin. Now there are some other plugins that can allow you to assess what those base maps. However, what we want to use on this tutorial is what um, quick map services which is what this right good so they said there is a new version available but we also have another one map tiler and um, it also helps you get some base maps but let's um, stick with what quick map services which um, we are interested in so if you don't have the plugin installed you can decide to install it they are asking us to upgrade for the purpose of the tutorial let's just what upgrade so that we can have what's the most recent one so you click on upgrade or install as the case may be good so we have reinstalled them successfully right good so we click on close now for us to assess what the um, maps that are under the quick map services we come to web and then we are going to see what quick map services right good now when you come to this point for the first time if you have installed the um, plugin you come to settings now under the settings you come to more services right good when you go to more services you click on get contributed pack so now this um, last version of um, contributed pack was downloaded helps you to download some other base maps right good this step is very important if you want to see all of the features that are under the quick map services right good so you click on ok and then you save right good so you now still come back to web quick map services and then you come to google or maybe any of the other services the contributed services that has been downloaded right good so now on today's tutorial we are going to stick with what google and then under Google, we have the hybrid, the labels, the road, satellite, terrain, and traffic. And then what we are going to be interested in is what the satellite, right? Good. Now, the difference between the satellite and the hybrid is that the hybrid contains everything, right? Good. Whereas the satellite just contains the imageries and then the features that are within what your area of interest. So we click on satellite. Now you can see that the um, the satellite the google satellite has been loaded and then we have been zoomed toward to our area of interest so you can decide to maybe zoom in and out to see um the features that are within what your area of interest right good so let's still zoom to layer of our point of interest the next part of it is now to download what is to download the imagery that covers our area of interest right good so you come to the google satellite you right click and then you go to export right good now under the export you select save as 
now the first thing under the save raster as window is to um, uncheck the create vrt because we are not trying to download our images in tiles right good so we just need a single image so we uncheck that now let's give it a file name good so let's call this um, imagery all right then the savers type we have what jotif because jotif has been what selected so there is a drop down for you to select any other package but let's um, leave it as what the default jotif then um, for the crs instead of using the sudo mercator you can use what the select crs button and then you define the um, coordinate system of your area of interest so you click on what um, wgs 4 utm zone 31 now having done that you are now going to see the extent now for you to define the extent you know perhaps what you have here is a polygon what you have here is a point or whatever vector data you have here that you want to use to what define your area of interest that can help you to select the extent here so now for the extent you can use them um, calculate from you now see we have different layers right good you now see your points of interest you now see as we selected the points of interest the coordinate values that bound those points of interest has changed right good this will now help you download what the imagery that covers or that bounds these four points right good so if you use a polygon it will help you download the imagery that covers what the polygon right good now the next part of it which is the final part you now come to the resolution the resolution is very important because the better the resolution the finer the imagery that what you have downloaded or you are going to download so we come to the columns because we can't have them in zeros so let's just say we need it to be um, 10,000 yeah 10,000 is okay it will give you a very high resolution image of what your area of interest right good so we leave them um, every other parameters default as they are and um, we have them um, add save file to map and then we click on ok so you now see the progress of what extracting or maybe downloading or yeah exporting our imagery right good so um, we have the tax to be complete and then we can decide to take out this our base map so that we see the imagery that has been what that has been downloaded right good so you now see it has been points to what those um, four coordinates which we have used to define our area of interest so you can now individually zoom in and out and then you can see that um, the details are a bit fine you can extract maybe by digitizing the roads the polygons the vegetation cover you know and some other land use that um, you have within that um, area of interest right good so if we decide to um, take this out like um, remove remove layer we can still um, add it come to layer add layer the way we brought in the delimited text layer we can also bring in what a raster layer browse now still in our folder we have what the imagery you open you add and then you close right good so you now still see that we have re-imported that um, imagery we just downloaded so thanks for coming to class we open we have shown you how to use um, um, qgis to download what images of what your area of interest you can see they are fine and then you can easily identify some of the features and as we said earlier digitize or maybe convert to vector so we are going to see you on the next tutorial ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye